Hey guys, Lin here, and today I'm going to be going over the new talents, both the PvP and the PvE talents. Now, a couple things I want to mention before uh, we get into it is the PvE talents are active in both PvE and PvP. Uh, I've seen some posts on the forums that are confused about that, and the PvP talents are only active in PvP. They're going to function similar to how our gear works right now, how when you enter PvP combat, they'll instantly turn on. Uh, that includes world PvP, um, arenas, battlegrounds, rated battlegrounds, any instance, including duels. Now, let's get into it. So, Blizzard's intention with the talent systems are were to make choices interesting, and they definitely did that for uh, Retribution Paladins. Now, our first row is a little bit um, confusing. But I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. So what Blizzard wants you to have is um, they want you to have a playstyle choice. Now you can build with the Ret Tree um, a fast place, a fast paced gameplay, um, quick holy power generators, where you can do a lot of passive gameplay. So let's get into it. Our tier 15 talents we have Execution Sentence, which has a drastically reduced cooldown. Um, I'm not sure if it's a bug or not, but I'm going to assume it's actually not, because there is no healing portion of it. Now, one thing they went and did with the Retribution Paladins was they changed a lot of the way we self-heal and off-heal. I'll get into that eventually, but um, Execution Sentence, 10 second cooldown, and it does damage over 10 seconds, 20 yard range. Turalian's Might, uh, our charge, it used to be called Lothar's Might, but they changed that for obvious reasons. and. It's no longer called a teleport, it's a it's basically heroic leap that does a little bit more damage. And finally we have consecration, but this may be a placeholder because we have uh you see right there it says blade of light, which is probably going to be the retribution talent. Uh now my favorite row actually is the the tier thirty row. We have Fires of Justice, which increases your Crusader Strike damage by 25%. It's the passive of the row. Then we have Crusader's Flurry, my absolute favorite. It gives Crusader Strike three charges, 5% um, more damage on Crusader Strike, and it's the fast-paced gameplay that we are looking for, at least that I'm looking for. Lastly, we have Zeal, which for Retribution is a instant 100% damage physical generates one holy power and increases your attack speed by 20% and causes zeal to chain to an additional nearby target. So my guess is you're going to be increasing your attack speed by 20% against one target and it's not going to be a self buff, it's going to be um, a debuff on a target. Now tier 45 talents, these haven't changed at all besides you get them at level 45 instead of level 30. Fist of Justice, reduce the uh, remaining cooldown of Hammer of Justice by, oh, my bad, I'm reading the wrong thing, reduce the cooldown of Hammer of Justice by 10 seconds. Let's take a look at the cooldown of it right here, 60 seconds, so it is a slight nerf on Hammer of Justice, uh, 50 second cooldown, but it's compensated in other places, other, other gameplay. We'll get into the PvP talents in a bit. Repentance still unfortunately has a cast time and blinding light. I don't know, it might be useful because Fist of Justice is only a 10% cooldown reduction. So we might be going with Blinding Light, especially because this doesn't increase the range anymore. Now, there will be a PvP talent that increases range, but we'll get it there in a minute. Uh, next talent we have is Virtue's Blade. Exact same thing as the Fires of Justice, except it works on Blade of Justice. Uh, we have Blade of Wrath, which functions similar to Crusader's Flurry. If you want that fast-paced gameplay, take Blade of Wrath, halves the cooldown and the damage of Blade of Justice, and generates one holy power. Lastly, you have Divine Hammer, and actually that could be decent in RBGs when you pair it with Mass Judgment, which spreads your uh, new judgment effect. Essentially the same thing as Crusader uh, same thing as Colossus Smash to other targets, so Divine Hammer could be good, but I wouldn't be using it because it takes away a lot of your single target, and you could break CC and whatnot. So, 
our tier 75 talents are all focused around judgment. You have judgment of the bold, which increases the bonus damage of your judgment by 10%. If you don't know what judgment does now, it has a 12 second cooldown and increases your holy power generating abilities damage by 30% and your spenders by 30%. So that could actually be pretty good, especially for heavy swaps. If you're looking for swaps, that is your talent. Uh, you have the Might of the Virtue, which again, functions the same as Blade of Wrath and Crusader's Flurry. It is fast place gameplay. You generate another Holy Power with your Judgment, because as of Legion, Judgment does not generate a Holy Power anymore. And then you have Mass Judgment, which I just went over before. It spreads your Judgment effect around and increases the duration by 100%. So that's a 12 second duration on Mass Judgment. So you could essentially be doing 30% more damage with all your abilities all the time. But then you're losing out on some heavy swaps and uh, faster gameplay. So it, it's actually up to you. They're going to make these talents pretty hard to choose from. <laughs> now you have one of my favorite rows. Um, I'm going to go over this ability first. This used to be a passive that we had back when um, we had talent trees, like the the big branches and stuff back in uh, Wrath and Kata. Uh but it's a little different. If anyone remembers the old warrior retaliation, it's called uh, Die by the Sword now, but it functions differently. This is eye for an eye. It instantly counterattacks any melee attack against you for 12 seconds. It doesn't parry, but you'll hit them back. So DK is going on you, warriors, rogues, anything that does a lot of melee damage or fast attacks, you're going to be shredding them with eye for an eye. So against enhanced shamans, this is going to be good. Unfortunately, uh, I can't see myself running it all the time, which I would love to, but um, against casters, it's, it's garbage. And it costs three holy power to use, but it, there's no cooldown, so that's pretty good. Now we have Divine Steed, which <laughs> it seems pretty fun. It's a 60 second cooldown, and you mount up, increasing your speed by 100%, and it's usable in combat, indoors. Um, my only problem with it is the minute cooldown. Uh, it's kind of a turn off, and it only lasts for 4 seconds. So, kind of imagine a mage's blazing speed, but worse. Um, now we have Blaze of Light. So, we did get Word of Glory removed, but this replaces our Flash of Light. And my guess is just it's Enhanced Flash of Light. Uh, lastly, we have our final verdict, Seal of Light and Holy Wrath. Final verdict is your passive gameplay increases the damage done by Templates Verdict by 15%. Final verdict no longer has a ranged uh, ability, it is melee range, it, but Templates Verdict now does holy damage, so we don't have to worry about that. Seal of Light, uh, draw upon the Paladin's holy energy to increase attack speed by 35% and movement speed by 10% lasting 30 seconds. So I could see this, this is actually kind of like um, Inquisition. Like imagine this being Inquisition. And we have Holy Wrath, which ugh, it's a channeled ability. It's a channeled cast, so you could technically get locked from it. Um, imagine Arcane Missiles and restoring your health. But it does deal 50% additional damage to stun targets, so maybe if we ran Holy Wrath with a Rogue or something, we could have some bursts ability to it, but I don't see this being used much. It probably will get replaced in beta. Now let's go over the changes to Red's abilities. Hammer of Justice, um, 10 yard range, that's basically like what it is in game. Flash of Light, exact same. Templar's Verdict now does holy damage. Sword of Light, uh, same thing as it is in game. Now here we have some interesting new abilities. We have Hand of Light. Um, they changed Blessings and Hands, uh, Hand of Light places a hand on an enemy target, increasing the healing you receive, or not increasing the healing, healing you for 3% each time the target takes damage. So what I imagine is you can't swap this often, and you're going to be training a target. If you're training a target, you want to put this on it. Or you could use it as kind of like, um, let's see, you know how Murder of Crows functions? If you put it on a target before the target dies, it'll, the cooldown resets, or when the target dies, the cooldown resets. You could use Hand of Light like that. Now we have Blade of Justice, which I went over in the previous video. It replaces Exorcism, generates 2 Holy Power, 12 second cooldown. We have Hand of Hindrance, or Slow. Now don't be too scared of that 30 second cooldown. This ability actually is going to be good in PvP. 
Hand of Hindrance reduces the target's speed by 70% for 10 seconds. Now, even if that only lasts 8 seconds in PvP combat, that's still pretty good. And there is a PvP talent that if this ability gets dispelled on an enemy, um, the cooldown is half. So it's not terrible, but it's not fantastic compared to Seal of Justice that we have right now. But for now, that is the Paladin, or at least Retribution's only slow. Now, we have Shield of Vengeance, which is sort of a replacement for Sacred Shield. Basically, it creates a barrier of light. Uh, imagine Ice Barrier. It observes, absorbs a certain amount of your attack power for 15 seconds. And then when that barrier is broken or expired, it deals a bunch of damage back to the attacking target. So that's pretty good. That's part of our new self-healing. Uh, we have Divine Storm, not changed at all, really. Uh, I'm sure the 180% of weapon damage isn't correct. They're, they'll fix that eventually because currently that's more than Templar's Verdict and it's holy damage. Uh, Rebuke, exact same cooldown, exact same lockout. We have Bop, finally. They uh, made the name Bop again. Blessing of Protection, still 5 minute cooldown. Uh, plate Specialization, same. Now, this is going to be fun in Battlegrounds or RBGs. When a party or raid member dies within 40 yards, you gain 100% increased damage for 10 seconds. And this might have some sort of internal cooldown. My guess is it will, that, or they'll decrease the damage uh, that rets do when Retribution is active. Because that seems really OP, but at the same time really fun. Now, Avenging Wrath actually was changed a little bit, because we don't have access to Hammer of Wrath currently anymore. Um, it increases our damage and healing by 50% instead of uh, instead of 30% right now, or 20%, whatever it was. So that's an actual pretty good buff, but we'll see how it plays out without Hammer of Wrath during wins. Mastery is Unchanged and Conviction, which I went over last video, but you have a 20% chance to generate an additional Holy Power on your Crusader Strike and Blade of Justice. Now, there are a few class abilities that we can go over. Um, let's find them here. They should be here somewhere. It's kind of hard to identify which is a red ability and which is not. Um, this is going to be apparently our uh, class hall is called Sanctum of the Light. Oh, Divine Shield. Okay, so Divine Shield still five minute cooldown. It lasts eight seconds, but it doesn't reduce your damage by fifty percent anymore. So the last time Rets had this was I think patch 3.1 in Wrath of the Lich King, and it was so it was so broken because Bubble was a 12 Bubble lasted 12 seconds, and you could just pop wings and go freaking ham with uh, complete immunity. What else do we have? Land Hands is the same. Ardent Defender. I don't believe that's Ret. Holy Shock's probably not Ret either, but that might be a class ability. I don't know. I was reading um. There was, there was a screenshot of a Red Paladin with Holy Shock on his bar, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, Sanctity of Battle, that's unchanged for Retribution. Along with our Mastery, we still get 5 Holy Power. I'm definitely missing one or two abilities, but... Let's see here, all maybe? Yeah, so that's that's basically it for now. Unfortunately, Word of Glory is removed. We do get some sort of uh, compensation for that with the new shield we get and some uh, increased healing on wings. But it's going to be a little weird playing without um, a defensive holy power spender. Eye for an eye. That could be defensive or considered defensive. Uh, Holy Wrath could technically be considered defensive, but not in, not in PvP, really. Alright, that's about it for the PvE talents. Now let's get to the PvP talents. So here we have um, we have six rows currently, and a lot of them are pretty unfinished. But I'm going to go over the ones that they have. So for every class, every class gets Gladiator's Medallion, Adaptation, and Relentless. Now, Gladiator's med Medallion is PvP Trinket. Uh, Adaptation is a passive PvP Trinket, but it works... Um, like, say you get polyed, it will dispel that poly after one second, but then go on a one and a half minute cooldown. 
I don't really recommend using this as it sounds because um, a healer could just dispel you out of that poly and then adaptation would get wasted. And then there's Relentless, which uh, it's basically Death Knight Frost presence. It, all CC is reduced by 25%. That could be nice, especially in RBGs and for reds during wings, but um, I feel like I'll be going with Gladiator's Medallion, especially because they are removing or changing the human racial currently. Now, right now, this row is all passives. Um, my guess is it, this is not going to stay because um, it's they're all the same for every class. Train of Thought increases damage done by 15% when you're not being attacked. So if every class gets this, actually this could be interesting because everyone would have to be attacked in order to not be doing 15% extra damage. So that could be good in BGs. Uh, mind Quickness, I'm probably going to take this 15% haste. Paired with that Sanctity of Battle, you get a faster uh, Holy Power Generator. That's nice. And Initiation, your critical chance, critical strike chance increased by 30% on targets at or above 80% health. I don't I don't really like the sound of that one. Um I can't think of many situations where that would be good because in PvP usually you're rotting all the time and no one's at or above eighty percent health all the time. Uh here we have jurisdiction for retribution paladins and it increases the range of hammer of justice by ten yards. So eh, that's kind of like what we used to have in Fist of Justice but less. We have Unbound Freedom. Uh Blessing of Freedom also increases your movement speed by 20%. That's pretty nice. That's another gap closer Reds can use. And Reds currently don't really have a talent in this specific portion of the talent tree, but uh, Cleansing Aura is when you dispel an ally within your aura, all allies within your aura are dispelled in the same effect. So that's probably a holy talent. Holy Ritual, that's not really a... Uh, that's not Red. Pure of Heart. Let's see... Whenever you or allies affected by your aura are healed from any source, they are cleansed of all diseases and poisons. These talents aren't really clear. Holy Ritual, Pure of Heart, and Luminescence. Whenever you're healed by any source, nearby allies uh, within 10 yards are also healed for 30% of the amount. I don't know. I doubt they'll be keeping these three for red. Reds are probably just missing from that. Now we have Long Armor of the Law. Judgment increases your movement speed by... A certain percentage for a certain amount of seconds. My guess is it's going to be like 50% increased movement speed for 5 seconds or something like that because Judgment has a longer cooldown now. Uh, we have Law and Order for Ret. Whenever your Hand of Hindrance is dispelled or otherwise removed, the cooldown is reduced by 15%. That is pretty good. Uh, it kind of sucks that it's on the same tier as Long Arm of the Law because we no longer have Pursuit of Justice or any of those other passive in movement speed increases. And then we have Seraphim's Blessing, which actually, this looks pretty fun. When you drop below 25% health, your Avenging Wrath uh, triggers for 5 seconds, and it's on a minute cooldown. It does not currently make your Avenging Wrath go on cooldown, so I imagine if you get to 25% health, your healer has a pick-me-up or whatever, drops that, um, I don't know, NS, NS on you, get 5 extra seconds on your wings, and you can just burst for 25 seconds. That, that sounds pretty nice, especially because Sanctity of Wrath is no longer talent, so wings are always going to be lasting 20 seconds. Uh, lastly, we have the, or my favorites here, we have Lawbringer for Retribution. Hammer of Justice also deals holy damage equal to 10% of the target's health. That's going to be pretty good. That's a meaty, uh, a meaty damage on your stun. We have Divine Punisher. Judgment always critically strikes. That's pretty lame. That's on targets who are casting. Unless Judgment's going to do a massive amount of damage, that's not going to be too great. And then we have this ability here. Hammer of Reckoning. Pull a magical hammer that strikes the enemy for 240% spell, uh, spell power as holy damage. And when your allies with your blessing take damage, the damage of your next Hammer of Reckoning increases. Now, this could be, uh, depending on how they work it, this could be a huge increase to ret consistent damage. Even though it has a 60 second cooldown, you're always building up a, uh, a stronger Hammer of Reckoning every one minute. So, I'm just happy about uh, this talent right here because 10%, that's basically an execute. Uh, and they took away Hammer of Wrath. So, Retribution Paladin still kind of have an execute, but it...
except that execute is attached to our stun. Alright, so that's about it for Paladins uh, of the Retribution spec at the moment. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more info as beta comes closer. I really hope I get into beta. If anyone has beta key and would love to share, I mean, I'm so down for recording stuff and putting some up, some videos up for you guys. I actually haven't gotten beta ever, and I've been playing since uh, the very beginning of Wrath. Oh, uh, one one change I want to show you guys. I don't know if anyone plays a Mistweaver monk, but take a look at this. Dematerializes back. Uh, when you're stunned, you phase out of existence temporarily, causing all melee and ranged attacks to miss you for two seconds. It has a ten second cooldown. Mistweavers used to screw me with that all the time in uh, in mists, and they have healing spheres back too. So I'm sure Mistweavers are pretty happy. All right, so um, Trollian's might, Divine Steed. Charge and charge. That's very nice. We got some gap closures, got some passive speed increases. Red's looking decent. Um I really like all the changes and I'm really excited for Legion. I hope this video was helpful and I'll talk to you guys next time.